Hi friends, today I'll, I'll show you how to create a load balancer for your web servers in Azure. I have two web servers, web1 and web2, on which I have installed IIS and configured a test website. Let's check the servers first. This, this is the web server 1, you can see the name here and I have this default website and if I access this you can see the test you can see the test page is loaded test website page and you can see the server name here the same we can see on the web server second on web server second this is the website and if I access the website you will get the similar kind of page but the server name is web server 2 our web servers are ready so let's configure the load balancer for load balancer we have to go to the load balancer then click on add it will launch it will load the lo load balancer page so first thing is the name so we can put my load balancer we are creating the public so it should be the public we have to choose the PIP public IP address I have already lot of public IP let's create the new one it will ask you the name so it so we can give my load balancer public IP and I give it static okay then we can choose our resource i have already a resource group so i have chosen the existing one location central us and we click on create it will validating the things and create the load balancer So we refresh the page and you can see the load balancer is created we click on this and we need to configure some some settings for the load balancer to be worked the first one is front end ip pool this is selected by the uh, by the load balancer automatically when we create the uh, public IP for the load balancer you can see the IP here the public IP okay the next thing which we need to define is the backup pool backup pool is the place where we define our VMs the backend VMs okay first we give my backend pool the name then we click add a virtual machine you can only select the virtual machine if you have the availability set so we will choose the availability set so we have the availability set here we choose it we choose the virtual machines we have two web servers select this okay then okay it will updating the backend pool here so we have the backup pool here then we have to configure the health props 
health props and add here you give the name then we are using our web for website so this is http port 80 then path then interval then unhealthy threshold so it will check whether the website is healthy the state of the uh, website and IIS, IIS is healthy or not so here we got the health prop then we have to define the load balancer balancing rule click on add give it the name my load balancer you can see the front end IP this is the IP which we will access uh, and it will it will load balance the traffic then the traffic would be the TCP and the port would be this 8080 you can see in back end pool you can see the two virtual machine which we selected here is the health prop and ideal timeout click on ok after a few minutes you will get the load balancer here here we got the load balancing rule so let's try to access the website ok so we try to access our website this is the load balancer IP and you can see it is pointing right now to the web server 2 the page is coming from the web server 2 so if we hit the refresh we will oh yeah you can see now it is went to web server 1 so if we still so it take times to switch but as we can see it is working it's take time to go to web server 1 but at the very beginning we saw that it is uh, initially serving the page from web, ser web server 2 now it is serving it from web server 1 and one more test which we can do is to stop the website on web server 1 and try to refresh the same URL so this is my web server 1 so I stop the website here stopped and switch back to the website and switch back to the machine from where I was accessing uh, the website you can see it is web server 1 if I refresh the page it will switch back to web, web server 2 because web server 1 website is unavailable see it is it is going back to web server 2 so this concludes the video I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching